we have klot dot okay i'll leave uh, yeah klot okay i believe it has been changed to klot dot net yeah perfect we have klot dot net then we have my dns tools period info dns dot com network tools dot com nilsoft dot com that's n i r n i r s o f t and dns watch info www dot domain tools and much more so the next step after retrieving the DNS information is to gather network related information. So we will discuss network footprinting in this tutorial uh, that is a method to gather network information, network related information and I will also go ahead and describe how to locate the network range, determine the IP op operating system, trace route and using the trace route tools. So in order to locate the network range to perform network footprinting you need to gather the basic and the important information about the target organization such as what the organization does who they work for and what type of work they perform the answer to this question uh, give you an idea about the internal uh, structure of the target after gathering the aforementioned information an attacker can proceed to find the network range of a target system here she can get much more detailed information from the appropriate regional uh, registry database regarding IP allocation and nature of allocation. Two popular trace route tools are NeoTrace and Visual Trace. So I'll just go down. And uh, we have over here NeoTrace, and uh, the other one would be Visual Visual Route. Sorry. So we have these two awesome trace route tools and obtaining I don't have these tools installed as of now but uh, if you're having Kali Linux then you don't need to worry about that again. So that is the best part of Kali Linux that you have everything under one place and you don't need to buy anything or install anything differently and you have everything inside just one operating system. And obtaining private IP addresses can be useful for the attacker and the Internet Design Numbers Authority that's IANA they have reserved the following three blocks. Of IP address space for private internet that's uh, 10.0 I'll just go ahead and write that down I'll just open my notepad okay so I'll just go down 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255 so they have already assigned you can say as these block three blocks of IP addresses for private internets this is the first one the second one uh, and this is this is the 10 by 8 prefix which is actually used and then we have 172.16.0.0 and uh, over here we have the 172.16 by 12 prefix and last one that we have is uh, normally we know that because we all have our computers assigned to that IP address so it's 192.168.0.0 .0 starting from that to 192.168.255 and these have 192.168 by 16 prefix perfect so yeah perfect so the network range gives you an idea about how the network is which machines in the networks are alive and it helps to identify the network topology access control device or operating system used in the target network and to find the network range of the target network enter the server's ip address uh, which uh, we have gathered in who is footprinting in the uh, uh, aaron uh, who is database search tool and you can go ahead go and if you just don't know what is Aiden? Uh, I'll just go ahead and go it out for you. Dot a r i n dot net slash knowledge slash r i s r s period html. So I don't know whether this one is still working, but I'll just go ahead and copy paste it over here. Yeah, by the way, we have it. Okay, so and once you have this, you can go ahead and check it over here and enter the server's IP address in the search who is text box over here and anything uh, over here. This search who is text box and uh, uh, you will get the network range of the target network. If the DNS servers are not up uh, set up correctly, the attacker has a good chance of obtaining a list of internal machines on server 
and also sometimes if an attacker traces a uh, route to a machine he or she can uh, e easily get the internal IP address of the gateway which might be useful so just let let's check if I go ahead and type 207.46.232.182 let's check if I'm, I'm able to gather information about that okay perfect so as you can see that uh, the CIDR is six, uh, 207.46 divided by 16 prefix this is for the Microsoft Global .net and it has direct assignment and if you try to get, see much more information this is the Microsoft Corporation and it's a one Microsoft way it has Redmond inside that and it has all the areas where it's located when what it, it registered and you can see we have uh, all of these malicious uh, websites that uh, go ahead and use the same name almost the same name but a smart person can easily understand that but still uh, this one is uh, uh, very easy to understand but when you go ahead and try uh, use websites such as which is secure website HTTPS and you use as cert.microsoft.com or secure or MSN DCC or IOC it's a uh, very it's sometimes hard to understand and you directly go ahead and uh, use that uh, so we you can see we have different types of located over here so you can uh, you need to use more than one tool to obtain the network information and sometimes a single tool is not capable of delivering the information that you want so that is it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you as to determining the operating system and how we can go ahead and use that in gathering our IP a range of IP address and finally by the end of the day I'll be teaching you how we can uh, which tools are available in the Kali Linux and I'll show you some practical live uh, examples as to how we can go ahead and gather information only via Kali Linux and not using any of these tools which are uh, outside of Kali Linux.